On Saturday the 3rd of December we did this very exciting learning experiment inside this building behind me. It was uh, the end of an effectuation process under the headline called uh, Robots and New Technology. What Simon and I actually did was to arrange a learning situation. Our target group was families that we didn't presume had a big knowledge about robots and coding in advance. Our goal with the project was to give the participants a basic knowledge of what algorithms and coding is. And to give the participants a sensation of what it means to follow an algorithm by acting like a robot themselves. And at last, to give the participants a good experience and a curiosity about robots and new technology in general. The participants worked together in pairs, one as a robot and one as a programmer. At first the two people had to build the algorithm together out of piles of cards with different arrows on. They did it by walking the route through the maze and also by discovering how long one step was for the robot. Afterwards, they placed their algorithm on a long line on the floor. Then it was time to connect the robot and the programmer. We did that by a Skype connection between an iPad and a mobile phone inside the glasses of the robot. Now the programmer could guide the robot through the maze by filming the algorithm step by step. It was also exciting to see how the role of the teacher in this case, and like in sociocultural learning theory, was changed. Simon does a bit of instruction in the beginning, but afterwards his role was more like a guide on the side. He was aware of the learner's zone of proximal development and guided them further on when it was necessary. In sociocultural learning theory, the learning environment also must be flexible. And in our case, there was a room for playing and experimenting as well. For example, when one family wanted to rebuild the maze in another way, or when some boys wanted to guide each other through the maze laying on a skateboard. In this project, we have worked with entrepreneurship and we have been through an effectuation process. Now we will give some arguments why an effectuation process also is a learning process. First of all, entrepreneurs focus a lot on the process. That is the same in sociocultural learning theory. You have to stay in the uncertainty for a long time without heading for an exact goal. In that process, you have to do a lot of reflections, experimenting and investigations. Next, the entrepreneurs and the sociocultural learning theory focus on the social aspect and that we have to collaborate with others. One of the principles in effectuation is crazy killed, what means that binding cooperation may bring more value to the project. The lemonade principle in effectuation is about how it is good to make mistakes in the process so that you are able to learn from your mistakes. That also shows a focus on the learning process. In our project, the way we created value for people was by setting up the learning situation so that the participants left with more knowledge about coding and robots than before they came to us.